Okay. Good evening, everyone. How are you doing? All right, we're recording. Uh, this is the IPFS Core Implementations Weekly Sync. It is the 24th of February, 2020. I am your host for today. If you are here, put your name on the attendees list. I just asked you to do that, but I'm going to ask you again. Jacob has volunteered to be the note taker. Thank you, Jacob. That's super cool. Uh, and we will get on with what we normally do. Uh, and what we normally do is we go through our high priority initiatives and share updates on those. Um, we also, if you have uh, async updates uh, for what you've been working on, then please add them to the end of the document. We won't go through them in this meeting, but it means that everyone can share what they've been on and we can, uh, we can look at it asynchronously and ask questions if we need to later. Um, so let's get back to it. High priority initiatives. Oh man, my, my thing is jumping around. People are adding stuff at the rate of knots. That's great. Um, so high priority initiatives. First up, we have upcoming and shipped releases. And I have the news that since we last spoke, which feels so long ago now, because we missed a week, um, the JSIPFS, the JSIPFS 041 released, um, finally which is cool. And since then, I think we've actually released a bug fix anyway. So <laughs> another ship. And so the highlights from that is that async await refactor finally got shipped. Um, if you have been paying attention at all, uh, then you will know that it has been a big refactor to the code base, um, which leaves us with uh, async await uh, style code um, and uh, async iterables by default. Super cool. Um, there is a release blog post, um, which also links to another big blog post where we explain what all those changes actually mean. Um, the other uh, highlight is UnixFS version uh, 1.5, which is uh, now in there. So you can now add metadata to your files as you import them. And when they come back out, they still have metadata. So that's, um, that's super cool for a number of reasons, um, which is also explained in a release blog post. So you should go and check that out. Um, all right, so that's, JSIPFS 041 is, does anyone else have any upcoming or shipped releases that they'd like to mention while we're here? Righty, let, all right, let's move on. Uh, so upgrading the test, uh, testing infra and or process. We've got uh, Anton and Raul, uh, either of you here for no. Okay, we'll have to leave that one for today. Uh, content routing, aha, uh -huh, there's text here. Can, uh, would someone like to let us know what's up with content routing at the moment? Right here, one second. Uh, hi guys, uh, sorry. So walking around New York, not watching my stuff from outside of the building. Um, uh, yeah, so content routing, we made a bunch of uh, really awesome decisions. Um, can you guys hear me? Yeah, okay, good. Uh, we have, um, yeah, we figured out how to do the DHT upgrade. Uh, we're going to have one DHT uh, with two protocols, and new nodes will not route to old nodes, but old nodes will expect to new nodes. Uh, <clears throat> uh, this should work 99% of the time. Uh, once 20% of the network is upgraded, and we'll get five nines, once 45% uh, of the network is upgraded, and we can fix this booster nodes. Uh, other than that, we also got a thousand uh, nodes to work on test ground. Um, we have some concerns around Lambda's VPNs, which we need to uh, fix and figure out. Uh, and yeah, we also like uh, the first uh, round of auto net patches are landing. Um, other than that, yeah, so we're still we're trying to land the associating routing table state from uh, connection state uh, and except for the DSP stuff. So all the other stabilized branches are going to come out here. And then we have metrics. Uh, so let's take a look at them. Cool. Thank you, Stephen. Uh, uh, can people hear me? Yes. Okay, phew. It's not just me. Um, cool. I also liked the addition of a little walking tour of New York <laughs> at the same time. Um, 
All right, let's move on then. Subdomain gateway, gateway Lido, would you like to give an update here? I have a quick question. Sure. Uh, the, the fetch time metric, what does fetch mean? Uh, actually, fetching is the swap. So we provide, then we find, then we actually do the fetch. The fetch is the final step, which we're, once we've already uh, done time provider. But do you but do you include the time to fetch or uh, time to the connection to uh, the bits of session initiation? We're, we're fetching one block, so it's time to fetch. But at this point, you already have a record, record so it's it's in the log, and the node is right next to it, so it's in the log. So it's almost time to. You drop. It's just the time to fetch. I said so. It's almost time to first byte, basically. Yes, but it's time to first, but like, again, these are all additives. Like, we resolve first, um, then we do the fetch, but the fetch is cheating because we're on the same machine, technically. So, like, it's, it's like all that much. It's like, did we actually manage to get the thing? Okay. All right. Um, any other quick questions? Shall we move on? Let's move on. Lido, would you like to give us your update? Yep, uh, so on the subdomain gateways front, uh, not much happened. I was at IPFS team week. Uh, however, I plan to land this PR, uh, make it ready for review this week, hopefully. Um, what remains to be done is to finish writing tests, basically, and we want to uh, land it uh, with, uh, ship it with Go IPFS 0.5. Uh, during IPFS team week, we, ag we got agreement, what do we mean by, uh, shipping CID v1 as a default, a default for output, and we have a soft uh, a launch date uh, to ship it with GoIPFS 0.6 and JSIPFS uh, 0.43. Uh, the short version is that we will be upgrading output if the, uh, the CID on the output would be that console or some other means like web service, HTTP API. If uh, it's uh, CID v0, we would automatically upgrade the output to CID v1 in base32. Uh, it would be the same multi-hash, no changes of internal DAG. And if someone uh, passes a dash dash CID version one, like explicitly, uh, that will not only make, uh, that will, uh, and for force use of CIDV1 in entire DAG, changing not only DAG, but also like enabling row leaves, because now if internal nodes are using CIDV1, then we can squeeze multicodec there and tell that the leaves are row leaves. Uh, that's the short story. Uh, more updates uh, on that in following weeks. That's it from me. Thank you. Nice. Do you have a, a version estimate for when CID in subdomain, uh, sorry, not, yes, it's subdomain gateways stuff will be landing in JS IPFS? Hopefully, uh, the, the worst case scenario would be 0.43. Because uh, I want to ship it that first with Go IPFS, then with JS IPFS, and then circle back to JS. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, go IPFS, IPFS companion, and then circle back to uh, just IPFS, uh, but it should not, uh, should, worst case scenario is uh, pushing it one way. Love it. Okay, cool. Um, all right, any quick questions for Lido? No, okay, moving on. Bit swap updates. Dirk, are you around? Are you here? Uh, this is not around. I can oh. pick up. Uh, mostly also, we're dropping gears in the session is not being useful. Uh, otherwise, we end up collecting a bunch of gears. There's a ton of gears. They were really in the advanced roof, but they didn't have a control. We're, we've improved the perf of uh, like debouncing sending messages. So, like, um, instead of like sending every single little bit, we have to collect them up and then send them all at once. But we had some partitions around, like yeah, allocating a lot of time for one stuff. Uh, and we also, for old peers, if they still send, you don't have messages, they have an issue. Uh, we send as soon as they don't have messages to ourselves. 
I can. I think I got some of that. There was some muting in the middle of that. <laughs> oh, sorry. I was trying to time my muting with my pauses. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I think he's also currently blocked on uh, JS IPFS bit swap, so I'm going to block out some time this week to get him a review of that work. Yeah, he did tag a bunch of us on a pull request, so um, yeah, that'll be rad. I might try and undo that Wednesday. Uh, yeah, that, that'll be good to have before Super 5 lands, because uh, otherwise, like, basically, like, Go will still be reasonably fast at fetching, but it'll get slower at fetching from JavaScript. Gotcha. Okay. Um, cool. Then we are on to uh, stream content based chunking research slash improvements. Peter. Yes. Uh, so uh, with Team Week, actually didn't get to, do, to get too much uh, progress on this, but uh, there have been two lightning talks actually. The, the second one finished uh, 20 minutes ago uh, about this, and there is actually interest uh, from uh, one uh, of the collabs to start using this early to get some uh, numbers on what, how, how they are doing their custom checking and stuff like that. Uh, this call is actually on Wednesday. So, uh, yeah, there are a couple more design design hurdles that need to be overcome. Uh, and we are even closer to 0 0.1 than we were a week ago. Um, probably there won't be much uh, progress this week with, uh, with, the, uh, with, the, with the training week and everything. But, uh, yeah, uh, progress is ongoing. Cool, thank you, Peter. Uh, all right, in which case, does anyone have any questions for Peter, first of all? Okay. Um, all right, so uh, we have finished our list of um, important and top level initiatives. We have other initiatives here. I'll just read out the titles quickly. If anyone has any updates, then shout out as I'm doing it and we can do it. But we have Unix FS 1.5, adding performance. So I've got a note from Adine to say there are no new changes happening in Go FS. Okay, great. Uh, distributed signaling. We maybe want to remove if there are if there are, isn't going to be more work on something, we can remove it for future weeks, like add performance. Yes, I agree. I think it makes sense to work. It's uh, some of the stuff uh, Alex is working on, basically. Gotcha. Okay, uh, so uh, distributed signaling, that's still happening, but on pause, I, I assume. And the migration to multi-hash keys in block store, which uh, Hector is making progress with, but is not here. We should probably move that up to things that we're actively working on, right? Okay. Uh, <laughs> Let's do that. Um, cool. Okay. Any design review proposals from anyone? Nothing there at the moment. Any blockers or asks? Any questions? And anything for the parking lot? All right. In which case, I think we're pretty much done. This note stock will be pull requested to the uh, team management repo uh, where you can look at other people's uh, async updates and put comments on them and ask questions if you so need to. Um, but otherwise, thank you very much for attending everyone. You may have some of your time back now of your day and I'll see you next week for another exciting installment of IPFS core implementations weekly sync. Goodbye for now. <laughs>